we go to the search box here and you have to type IDLE and here on top we get Python 3.8 version. So you click on it and the Python shell opens for you. This is the Python shell where we can see the prompt like this, which are three greater than signs. Okay. So this is my Python shell and it is known as the interactive mode of Python. So here, if I type my commands, it's going to just give me the answer just like that. So I say three plus three plus four and I press enter. It gives me the answer. So interactive means as soon as I type the command, it gives me the answer in the second line. I'm going to use a new command for you. That's the print command. And if I say print name and I press enter, it's going to give me the name. If I say print four plus five and I press enter key, it will give me the answer as nine. Now here, I'm going to write a small program for you and just pay attention what happens. So I take two numbers. A is equal to 10, B is equal to 5, and I say print in the brackets A plus B, and I press enter, it prints me the answer as 15. Now here, even though I'm getting the answer as 15, it does not allow me to save this small code into a file so that I can reuse it whenever I want. Now how do we do that? There is another mode of Python, which is known as the crypt mode. So how do I use that? I go to the file option here on top and I click on new file. It opens a editor like this for me. It's called the Python editor and here I can type my program. So let's type our first program. So I want you to type a code which is going to add two numbers. So let's say I take a variable a is equal to 10. Another one b is equal to say 45 and I want it to store the answer in a variable called sum a plus b and I use the print command print sum. Now how do I execute this? Before executing from my uh, script mode, I have to save the file. So I go to file and save. It asks me for a name and I type any name say p1 for program 1 and it is going to store it as a python file that is .py extension. I will save it on desktop or any other folder that you have been using. I click on save. Now after saving, I can very well run it either from this run and run module. That is this I can click or I can press F5 from my keyboard, which is going to run and it will give me the answer here. So the answer is 55. OK, now the advantage is that I can open the same file again. Go, go to file. Go to open and I have saved it in desktop here, P1. And I click on open. So my file opens. So this is the advantage of this script mode. Now here I can make some changes, whatever. Let me type a program of, uh, say, subtracting two numbers. So let me change the variable, say, num1 equal to 50. And I want it to be num2. And now I want the difference. So I take a variable called difference. Diff is equal to num1 minus num2. Now if I write the variables as capital N here, and here also make it capital N, let's see, does it give the error? Any error? Let's see that. I press F5. It asks me for saving. I say OK. And here it gives me the error like this, saying num1 is not defined. Why? Because we have declared the variable as small with small n and here I have used capital N. So let me go back to the file. So do you see here I have taken small n and here I have taken the capital N. So that's the error here because Python is case sensitive. It does not allow me to use different variables. So I have to use the same variable as I have declared in the previous line. So now when I execute it, press F5, OK, I say yes, it must be saved. It's going to give me the correct answer. Answer is 5, OK? So this is how the script mode works. Now you are going to try the program of, I will type out the example for you here. So what you have to try now at your home on your machines is VAP to find the product of 
two numbers. Now for product, we will be using the operator asterisk. Okay, so how will you write the code? I'll just give you an example. I won't run the program. So you will say prod is equal to a asterisk b. Okay, so that is what you're going to use for product. Now second code you will write is wrap. Wrap means write a program. Wrap to find the quotient of n and 5. So here you will use quotient is equal to 10. Slash is the operator that you are going to use and that's going to give you the answer. So at home, I want you to try these questions and run and see the program, how the output comes. We'll learn more about Python in the next video.